It's recommended to go to Australia to apply for your first E3 visa. Hi, I'm America Josh and this is Learning With New Friends. I've heard under the E3 visa that I don't have to leave the US mm -hmm. to change visas or to renew the visa. It depends what your visa status is in terms, if you're trying to, if there's, you know, you can change your status, change your visa status. You can also extend your visa status. Changing your visa status means you're in the United States in one type of visa status and you want to change it to another type of visa status. Uh, you can change, you can do that. You can't do that if you're here on ESTA. So if you're here on ESTA, it is impossible to change your status. You okay. have to leave the United States. If you're yep. here, for example, on a um, J-1 and you want to be here on an E-3, could you submit an application to change your status from J-1 to E-3, which would allow you to just remain in the U.S.? It wouldn't require you to make a trip to a consulate. You, you could do that. Yep. Um, but you should be aware that if you do that, when you're approved, the only thing that's going to happen is your status is going to change. You will okay. not receive a visa stamp. Right. So if you have no desire or need to travel. So if you're staying inside you're the like, US, you know what, I want to stay E3. in the US, so I want to be E3, I don't have any desire to travel. Not only do I not have a desire to travel to pick up the visa to, to get approved for the E3, but even after that, I don't think I want to travel much. And does it make sense? Maybe, maybe it makes sense. So you'd normally just recommend if you're looking to, so for J1 to E3, you should yeah, leave J1 the country, to E3, make well, I mean, application. There's, yeah, there's a, it almost never makes sense. You're, First of all, if you want to do a change of status from J1 to E3, uh, it's going to take months before it's approved, if to. it's approved. Yep. Um, premium processing is not available to uh, E3 applications. Secondly, you will not receive a visa stamp. So if for you some can't. reason you decide you want to leave yep. you six months, eight months, that visa. you're basically lodging the same visa application at a consulate. So you're applying for the same yep. job twice. Um, so yeah, it makes better sense to leave and come uh, leave and apply for one because it yeah. takes longer in the first place. And if you leave the country, you, need you to have do to do again. the application. But again. another reason is that the application to change status is not one that's reviewed by consulates. It's reviewed by the USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, and um, they are a lot less pleasant to deal with than the vast majority of consulates. Okay, and, and so they're more strict. They're they're stricter, they will scrutinize cases more heavily and uh, uh, they have a higher likelihood to um, be a bit more capricious in their uh, review.